Hi, this is Narendra again from Binsara Limited. Today's lecture we're going to discuss about delete operation uh, in React JS. We're going to use Axios, and in this demo we're going to use hooks. So let us begin. Uh, we're going to make a function called function remove. Okay. We're going to pass ID here. <coughs> okay, that's fine. So come up here on the button. We have to put on click function on click equal to event uh, dot remove we can leave this empty anyway it's fine so remove function here we're gonna use item dot category id here yeah? we're gonna pass category id because we want to delete the record using the id okay um, so here we're gonna write some code so for that <coughs> first of all I'm gonna see we are getting ID or not console dot log ID okay so that's how look here we can get any ID So we're going to say delete and say inspect. Yes, we are getting ID here. Okay. So that's fine. <coughs> now then. Axios dot axios uh, dot delete function. Okay. Delete method. Right. URL plus ID so we're gonna pass ID along with the URL okay what happened there is some error oh, that's fine so dot then response dot console dot um, log res dot data here <coughs> so after that we're gonna put that in a variable const my or data <coughs> equal to category list category what's happening Category list dot filter item such that item dot category ID not equal to ID which is we are going to delete. Okay, so category my data and uh, dot cash here console dot error error okay so here um, control C going to be here that's fine so here uh, we are going to pass the id with the url and after that we are taking the response response to data and um, after deleting the record we want to filter uh, and display all the records so once you deleted this record we need to display all other records here so for that 
<coughs> we're going to use the filter function here so category list dot filter the item says that item dot category id which is not equal to the id which is which we deleted so we're going to display all the filter all the records from the category list um, except the id which is deleted so we'll, it will display all of the records and we're going to set category here and uh, um, so we already assigned this category list into this variable here so we're going to pass that variable in here to display all the available records after deletion of a particular record so that we're going to test it now okay delete delete it and we are seeing all of the records <coughs> look at the design looks nice isn't it delete that's it simply start so that's all for this video thank you for listening have a good day